I'm Jim Whiteman, licensed realtor with the Realty One Group. Thanks for watching this video. And by the way, when it comes to real estate here in Southern Nevada and Las Vegas, I'm your guy. You know, I'm a registered and certified feng shui expert when it comes to buying and selling real estate. And it's a really important principle of life and philosophy of life that a lot of Asians and a growing number of Westerners like to follow. I've been kind of showing you some of the do's and don'ts and goods and bads about certain properties, whether they have good feng shui or bad feng shui from outside. I'm going to show you one here that doesn't necessarily have the best feng shui. And the reason for that is because energy flow is very critical when it comes to feng shui. The buildup of positive energy, the release of positive energy, a natural balance of energy is very, very critical to a property and to, uh, to a home. And so having that type of balance is really important to a feng shui practitioner. I'm going to show you an example of a property that has a couple of things that a serious feng shui practitioner might take as a negative and as a possible setback to considering purchase of a property. In this case here, we have a one-story home that is surrounded on either side by two-story properties. And to a feng shui practitioner, every entity, every building has its own car. property home, or in this case, these two-story properties are transmitting energy in a negative way down onto that one-story property. Now, a lot of people that don't believe in feng shui are going to say, that's a bunch of malarkey. This is a beautiful one-story. I want to buy it. No problem. But to a feng shui practitioner, this could be an issue. The other issue is that, and it's hard for you to see it, possibly that there are electrical lines that run behind this property, as well as a busy, busy street that's in the backyard. You've got a peaceful front, but a busy back. That's also counterbalance and counterintuitive to a positive feng shui property. Normally, you want to have busyness in front with calm and relaxation in the back of your property. Energy lines, busy roads, create negative energy, create disturbance, create activity that's counter. Anyway, a couple of tips. When it comes to real estate, I'm your guy. Thank you.